Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. So today I'd like to show you how you can use one installation of Awesome Miner to control several different mining rigs on the same network. You can do this with the use of the Remote Agent Installer, which is a program that runs as a background service in Windows, and it allows Awesome Miner to connect to each mining rig so that you can configure which coins are being mined right from Awesome Miner. A lot of people will do this from a laptop or a dedicated computer on the network um, just so that they can keep all of their monitoring and stats in one place. And the beauty of this is that you don't have to log in to each of your mining rigs to tell them what to do. All of it can be done right through Awesome Miner. So let's get started. Here's the Awesome Miner download page. I'll leave a link down in the description. There are two files that we'll need and we'll have to put them in two different places. This is the main program, Awesome Miner Installer. So you'll want to download this onto whichever computer you want to use to monitor and control everything else. Then on the mining rigs, you'll want to download Awesome Miner Remote Agent Installer. So the computer that I'm on here is my Windows 10 virtual machine that has an RX 480 connected to it. So what I'm going to do is click on this remote agent installer link and I'm going to go ahead and save as and you can see I already have a copy here. So I'll just but I'll go ahead and overwrite. That's fine. And then when you're ready to run the file, you can just click on run. All right. Now I've already installed this, but if it's your first time installing it, you just click on next and then there's like an agreement page. So you go ahead and click on the agree and go next. I'm just going to click on repair, uh, which will basically work the same way as any other installation. And there you go. It installs all the services. Everything is good. And then you have to start running it. So what we'll do is just go over here to the little, Cortana thing and type in Awesome Miner and there it is at the very top Awesome Miner Remote Agent. Click on that and that's it. It's running. How do I know? Down here, the bottom right, see this little blue B? Let me right click it. See that little blue B right there? So that will be on your little icon bar so that you know it's running. And one thing that you'll want to do is right click it and then go to options and click on this little box auto start when windows starts because if your mining rig for some reason restarts by accident uh, you know has some kind of problem and it has to restart then uh, you'll be able to start mining right away because if the service isn't running then you can't connect to it from awesome miner all right so it's always good to have that on there click on ok one last thing you'll need to do for your mining rig is set a static IP address. To do that, you just come down to the bottom right here where you have this little icon of the computer and the network cable and right click it. Go to open network and internet settings. And then you'll want to go over here to where it says network and sharing center. Go to change adapter settings and then find your ethernet adapter right click it and go to properties then go right here where it says internet protocol version 4 tcp ip version 4. click on that and then click on properties chances are yours is already set here on obtain ip address automatically but what you'll need to do is set it to use the following ip address and assign it one on your network um, that is outside of the dhcp reservation range. So if you don't know what I'm talking about in this regard, then you may need to reconsider whether you're ready to start doing this because it's pretty basic networking that you're going to need to do for each rig that you have hooked up. So I can't walk you through every single step, um, but once you've set your static IP address, then you can click on OK and save it. And then one final thing that we need to do is add one of the folders to the antivirus exclusion list. So 
I can't show you how to do that for every antivirus program, but I can show how to do it for Windows Defender, which is what we have on here. So to do that, we'll just click on the little uh, icon bar here, and then I'm going to double click the shield to open up Windows Defender. And we'll go to Virus and Threat Protection. We'll go here to where it says Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Scroll down to Add or Remove Exclusions. All right, and then see right here where it says Add an Exclusion. I'm going to click the plus sign. And then I'm going to go to Folder. Click that. And then right here where it says Folder, type in percent app data percent backslash and notice you get this whole list here all these different folders right the one we want is called awesome minor service so just highlight this one here click it and then click on select folder and it'll say you sure you want to do this say yes and here's our folder okay and that means whatever mining software is downloaded here to take care of whatever it is that we want to mine, it won't be blocked by the antivirus program. Before we set up Awesome Miner, we need to consider which mining pool to use. And I like to use Mining Pool Hub. There's a lot of reasons for that, mostly because they have a nice selection of coins, the fees are pretty low, they have an auto exchange feature, which I really like, but perhaps most of all, especially for this type of application, they have algorithm switching. And this is a great way to maximize your profits for a given mining rig. And if you want a little bit more information on the different ways you can mine using Mining Pool Hub, I did a video on that. You can just click this link right here and learn more about it. But for right now, what I'm going to do is show you how to set up our remote agent using the algorithm switching method. The reason I want to use that is because it's the best way to maximize your profits for a given algorithm. One last thing I want to address, and this is only because I've gotten questions about it, is how to read this table. Well, in the first place, the table is basically listing the most profitable algorithm at the top and the least profitable algorithm at the bottom. So we can see right here, ET hash is number one, and this is the coin here, Ethereum, at that port number. But what is this normalized profit number here? Well, basically, we have to keep in mind that, like any exchange, all these values are being expressed as Bitcoin. So, if we look at our total hash rate here of 26.87 terahashes, uh, what we can say then is that for a 24-hour period of mining Ethereum, we will be bringing in the equivalent of 0 0.1505 Bitcoin. So, hopefully that will clear everything up. But basically, the higher this number is, the more of it is being mined. So therefore, it goes to the top of the list and more um, miners are you know, automatically switching to that particular algorithm or that particular coin. Um, and that way you're taking advantage of all of the added hash power, uh, especially when in the market, the value goes up. If the value goes up, then everybody starts automatically mining that coin to get you the most profit. So let's configure Awesome Miner. Now, if this is your first time installing the program, you'll get a bunch of pop-up windows and different wizards. You can just go ahead and cancel through all of those. I'll take you through step by step. You want to get to this main screen right here. Once you do, one of the first things that we'll need to do is add a new miner. And it's very simple. On the top left, there's a little button, Add New Miner. Click that, and we get the Add New Miner wizard. Then we'll click on Next. And we have a choice here. We're going to use Managed Miner. Click on next, and now we get to name it. I'm going to call it Windows 10 VM. Now for minor host, this is where we'll connect to our remote agent on the mining machine. So we're going to add that by clicking on new. And we're going to give it a description. I'm just going to call it RX 480 because that's the graphics card that's in there. And then this service address is the IP address 
of the machine. So remember, we set up a static IP address for that machine. That's what we're going to type in here. So mine is 10.0.0.81. And then I can click Test Connection. And I've got a successful connection to that remote agent. Click on OK. OK. And for our device profile, we can leave that as none and click on next. Uh, now we can configure some additional details. At the very top we have algorithm. So we're going to set that to Ethereum. And whatever algorithm you set here will automatically highlight in this box the software that is capable of mining that algorithm. So you can see all of this is grayed out except for right here, Claymore. If we go down a little bit, we've got Excavator, Phoenix Miner, SG Miner. Uh, now, Claymore is one of the best Ethereum miners, so I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, but do keep in mind that some of them are compatible with AMD and NVIDIA, but others like Excavator is NVIDIA only. And then SG Miner is AMD only. Okay, so you'll want to make sure that you're picking software that's appropriate for your equipment. So in my case, Claymore is perfectly fine. I'm gonna leave it on automatic download. There's uh, no reason to dual mode or dual mine uh, right now because unfortunately the difficulty on a lot of these coins is just so high that it's not profitable. So I'm just gonna leave it on single mode. And now it's asking for a pool. So. To set up our pool, we're going to click on New and New Pool. Now we can give it a description. So I'm going to call this one ETHash Algo Switch MPH. And for server URL, we're going to type in stratum plus TCP colon forward slash forward slash. And now we need a server address. So we'll go over here to Mining Pool Hub and Here's our Ethereum at the very top. Now take note, the port number is 17020. We're going to need to remember that. But to find the actual server address, I'm going to go over here to the Ethereum coin page. So on the left-hand side, we got a link here for Ethereum. We'll click that. And then I'll scroll down a little bit. And you see right here, it says server. And we've got three different options for three different regions. I'm going to select the one that's closest to you and highlight the entire address up to and including the colon, but not the number. We don't need that number. Um, right click, copy, <clears throat> and right click, paste. Now remember here, we have to put our port number for the algo switch port, which is 17020. Now for our worker name, this is your username on Mining Pool Hub. So mine is Goose Tech. This is case sensitive, so make sure that you type it in correctly. The password is X. Make sure you put an X here because Claymore is very finicky about whether or not you have something in the password field. Next, under optional settings, we're going to set the coin to unspecified Ethereum. And then for wallet address, it's going to be your worker name, again, Goose Tech, dot, and then the name that you want to call your computer. So I'm just going to call mine RX480 because that way I know it's my RX480 that's doing the work. A couple more things we have to set. On the left-hand side, we're going to click on this Claymore button, and then we're going to add a setting. To do that, we click the Add button here, type in ESM, and then click on Value right underneath here, and put a number 2 there. Click on Add, and now we've added that command. Very good. And one last thing here, click on Advanced, and we're going to add a password. So to do that, we're going to add dash MPSW space. And then just think of a password that's easy to remember. I'm just going to use password for a simple example. And go ahead and click on OK. Everything looks good here. We can click on Next and Finish. Next, we want to set up a profit profile for this particular miner. 
So we'll do that by going up to Options and Profit Profiles. And you have two of them already built in here, an AMD and an NVIDIA, but it's good to do individual profit profiles for each mining machine because you'll have different results for each machine. So um, I'm going to take this AMD GPU here and click on Clone, and that'll make a copy right here, which I can then edit. And I'm just going to rename this AMD RX 480. Now you can call it whatever you want, you know, Miner 1, Worker 1, Worker 2, whatever is good for you. But this, this is good enough for me. Um, you can also choose which software you would like to be able to use or not use. Uh, so there are a lot of different options here. Uh, and of course, all of the different algorithms that you'll be able to mine as well. Once you've set that, you can go and click on OK. And then we're going to set our password, um, which is done on the bottom here on the Advanced tab. Second from the bottom right here where it says Send Password for Claymore API Requests. You remember I, I told you to come up with a quick and easy password? That's, that's where you type it here. So you've got um, this password, which is set up for us in Miner, and then the other one that we did that command line for is for Claymore. And when the two uh, click, then we're in good shape. Uh, it just secures your connection basically between the miner on uh, the mining machine and Awesome Miner on a different computer. All right, now that we've got that set up, we can click on OK. And then one more thing we got to do is edit this. So um, we're going to right click our miner and go to properties. And at the very top here, you have this option, auto start miner. So let's suppose um, you need to reboot your computer or something. Uh, it's always nice to have that so it's on auto start. That way, boom, uh, if, if it goes down, it'll automatically start right up again. Um, the other thing is that uh, here where it says mining pool, we have our pool, but then we have this other option, add to worker name. It's good to do this. Uh, so we'll, we'll put a check mark here, and then we're gonna add the worker name, which is RX480. And this will automatically get tacked on to our username. Um, so that way, if you wanna see your stats on Mining Pool Hub, it'll display. Another thing is uh, display of profit. So here's where we're going to choose our profit profile. So I'm going to click the down arrow and choose that one we just set up, AMD RX 480. All right, click on OK. All right, and now, very important, we need to benchmark this miner. So we're going to go up here to the top and click the Tools tab and then Benchmark. And I'm going to go ahead and select All. You may have a lot more that show up here. I've already sort of tweaked mine a bit, um, but you can go ahead and benchmark all of them if you want. Uh, but I'm gonna do um, the top three because these are likely to be the three main algorithms that I'll be mining with that particular machine. All right, and then I'm gonna click on Start. And what this will do is open up each miner and run it for a few seconds to get a barometer of what the hash rate would be. If you want to see what that looks like, I'll show you my remote desktop. Here is the Crypto Note Miner. Here's the Zcash Miner. You can see it's getting sort of a, a consensus or an average of these three or four hashes. And now it's pulled open the Ethereum. And here it is doing Ethereum. Now, don't worry about this red text right now because on the benchmark mode, it doesn't use a password. Okay, looks like that's all done. Let's go back over here. And there we go. We've got our benchmark results. Notice that they're a little different than what's over here on the configured hash rates. So what you'd want to do is save these results over here and overwrite these because Awesome Miner uses that to determine some of your profits. Okay, so at the very bottom, you got save to profile. We'll click on that. It'll say you want to save these, say yes. And now it has updated the configured hash rates to, uh, to show the actual hash rates. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on close. 
and now we are pretty much ready to start mining. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the main tab here and click on start. And let's see how it's going over here. See, the red text is gone. And there is our first reported hash rate of 24.5 mega hashes. Let me go back over here to the main readout. And here is our hash rate being displayed on Awesome Miner, as well as our profit per day for that particular machine. Now here's where it gets interesting. Because I have this running on another rig, I can go ahead and start up this miner. So here I have two miners running. The top one here, big red, is mining Monacoin. And the bottom one here is mining ET hash on the algorithm switching mode. So we've got information that we can use to calculate our profits. So if I want to take a look at the dashboard here, I can see how many active miners are on right now, uh, whether they're GPU, CPU, or ASICs. Uh, here's what Bitcoin's going for today. And you can see what's happening right here at a glance at the very bottom. Um, total is 242 per day right now with these two graphics cards running. Um, and that's pretty much it. Well, there you have it. How to use a single installation of Awesome Miner to control several different mining rigs on the same network using the remote agent. I know this was a little bit more advanced of a guide, so if you have to rewatch it, don't beat yourself up. It it's kind of challenging to do this, but once you get the hang of it, you'll pretty much just be repeating the same steps for each mining rig that you want to add. But to recap, make sure that you give each rig its own static IP address. Make sure you name each rig with a unique name so that you know which one is doing what. Also, set up a device profile for each rig and then benchmark it and save the hash rates. This will help with your profit displays on the screen. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell so that you get future updates. And if you have questions, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, join us on the Discord server. I have a link in the description. If you need like immediate support, there's a lot of great members of the community there who are more than willing to share tips and give you a hand getting things set up. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.